Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to talk about sense of community. And I want to talk about this a little bit because a lot of guys over here, they think when you give out money to help people, you're an ATM. And I want to kind of disprove that a little bit. And I know it can be right in many cases, but in this case it's not. Okay? A lot of people in my neighborhood I help out. I help them financially. I help them by buying some things when they need some things. Sometimes I know they need something and I buy it because I have the excess money, you know, and so I know some expats don't have that and that's, that's fine. But when I need help, most times I don't even have to ask for it. And I don't have to pay people to do things. They offer to do it for free. And I want to show you one of those things today. Now, I help out the family next to me, and I'm very grateful for them because they're almost like, like my family now. They are, they are my family. I'm not going to say almost like my family. They are my family, you know, and I'm very grateful for them. And it's where my, my, my goddaughter lives next door, and, and my goddaughter's mother and father are almost like, like a sister and brother, you know, of my own. And I, I love them very dearly, you know, because of that. But... It's not just them, it's also other people in the community here. But today, I mean, yesterday I was, you know, I asked if, if, if the guy next door could help me. You know, my, my friend Pax, that's my, my goddaughter's dad. And I asked him if he could help, you know, do the um, Kubo over, the cabana. And he did a really, really good job. I want to show you some of the work here. He, he fixed this here, you know, like this piece here that's it was broken okay and he he redid the whole thing he refurbished it and he made it look like brand new I'm gonna go in here and sit but anyway to talk and he made the whole place look like brand new it's all revarnished everything you know and it was like it's that's a substantial help to me when you know somebody helps me and I help them but a lot of people don't give the Filipinos that credit and I hear a lot of people, they throw out these remarks about Filipinos make uh, for, turn foreigners into ATMs and stuff like that. And it's just simply not true. There are girls out there like that. Don't get me wrong. I, I hear from people like that all the time. But they're, they're the minority, okay? They actually are the minority. Some people will have you thinking that Every single Filipino is a, a Filipina or a Filipino is a bad person, and they're out to rip you off. And it's just simply not true. When you, when you get over here and you and you're in a good community, an average community. I'm not talking about a squatter's village or something like that, because you probably you you might have more problems in those areas. And I'm just guessing. Okay, I'm not giving you my, uh, you know, proven thoughts on that. You know, I, I'm just guessing from being around those areas before and, and walking near those areas, the people tend to ask you for money, you know, and, and just because they see the color of your skin, they see that you're a foreigner, and they're probably going to hit you up for, for more money. But I don't know what it would be like living there, okay? I know there's expats that live in those areas, and some of those expats are on very low budgets, and that's by choice, you know? That's, that's, their, that's their thing, you know? And I'm not knocking those expats or anything, you know? They, they want to live in those areas, that's fine. But... One thing I, I notice here is, is the sense of community. And everybody kind of helps everybody when there's a need. And I've always noticed that around my house is whenever we need help, everybody steps in and helps. You know, if we need to move something, whether it be the cabana or whether we need to fix the cabana, everybody jumps in and fixes it. And they find the things to do it too. All I had to do the other day was buy the varnish and somebody did it. You know, and we... As a group, when, when I bought this cabana, I didn't buy it just for our family. I told everybody that lives in this apartment complex, feel free to use it. That's what it's there for. And everybody uses it. It's kind of like a community spot now. It's like our own little village or city here, kind of. And it kind of is like a great co little community. And, and some people say, well, you live, you live in a small apartment or whatever and stuff like that. But we, we actually have two apartments here, like I said. And one of the apartments, the one we live in, has one bedroom divided into two because the bedroom was a huge bedroom, okay? It's the only apartment that has a huge bedroom. But, I mean, everything we do here, you know, we always get help. And we also chip in with, like, food and help out and stuff like that. Or we look after, you know, the, um, our godchild, things like that. And 
I must say that every time that I've helped somebody here, I always get some help back. You know, it's it's kind of like, you know, you, you, you give it out and, and they give it back to you. And a lot of times I just tell people to pay it forward when, when I help people like on the streets or something like that. Help other people. And sometimes, I'll, like, I, like I said before, there was a lady up in Manila that I helped and she helped her neighbor across the street and they got an apartment together. And I, I thought that was really great because she, she was so proud that she had helped that lady, you know, and, and I was so grateful that she had paid it forward. And I got to, and I was so grateful that she introduced me to the lady that she helped because I got to see that pay it forward, you know, at work. And it was kind of a neat thing. We've talked a little bit about, I, I've told about this lady before, but I mean, the community thing here runs so deep and the Filipino people are so big hearted that it, it's just an incredible thing to experience here when you're living here. And let me get more comfortable here. And it, for, for me, it's made me feel like a part of the community. And when you come over here, you want to be a part of the community. You want to be accepted, you know, because if you're not accepted here, why would you want to be here, you know? And for me, I feel more at home here than I do back in the United States. It's, it's become a part of my life to be, to live here and to, and to feel accepted. I, I don't, I don't get in arguments to, with people about politics. I don't get in arguments with, with people about any of the crap that's going on back home in the United States. And I'm sure all Westerners, when they get over here, they'll experience some of that. You know, unless you've got an American guy down the street that's a bonehead or something like that. But I mean, most of the Americans around here don't bother you or they don't, they come over and, and you know, they just want to chit chat and we talk about what's going on back home or something like that. But it's not usually an argument, you know, but there are some that are like that, you know. But some people don't know how to have constructive arguments sometimes. It's just the way it is. You know, and those are the guys you tend to stay away from over here. But I just want to talk a little bit about this t today because I thought it was kind of a, a fascinating topic over here. Because this morning I came out, I woke up, and I came out, and they were all out here doing the cabana and cleaning it and sanding it and fixing it. And I was, like, so grateful that, that they did that, f you know, for me. And... You know, like, it's it, it's kind of like quid quo pro sometimes. But it's not like quid quo pro. Because even if I didn't give them things, I'm sure they'd help me do things around here. Because they're just that type of people. But I do like to give them stuff too. To help them, you know, have an easier life. Because they make my life easier. Why wouldn't I give them an easier life? It's just part of what life is about. It's about being human. You know, and for me, that experience over here has really made me feel loved, you know? And I think as, as, as a human coming over here and as an expat and leaving all your stuff behind over there, your family and everything, it's good to have that sense of, of, of being loved. You know, it's, it's a great, great feeling having that, you know? And it's probably one of the most, the, the things I'm most grateful for in the Philippines. You know, I mean, my girlfriend takes care of me. She looks after me. And of course, you're going to take care of your family over here. I had somebody comment the other day that that my family is a rental family. You know, and it, it kind of puts like that that whore tag on it. I mean, I'm just being honest. It made me kind of feel like that, you know, when the guy commented like that. Like, you know, like because I give my my my, my daughter, my girlfriend's daughter, you know, money for college. And I give her 220 a month to pay for her books and you know, all her needs and stuff like that, that, that they're like a rental family. Now, who, who doesn't give money to their family? You know, I mean, if, if an American held back their money from their family and says, hey, you know, you're not a rent, uh, you know, you're not a, a rental family, you're a regular family, so I'm not going to give you money. What would happen? You know, and I, I always get these, these people on here, and it, I think these people are going to be in for a a rude awakening when they come over here sometimes because they're gonna they're they're not gonna be able to get a family if they do that over here and you know, because you need to help people over here you it, you know your family if you don't take care of your family most of the women over here are just gonna up and leave you know I'm sorry to say that, that but that's just the the brutal reality of of living in the Philippines it's not not that you're an ATM it's just part of 
the family tradition over here. You're expected to take care of the family here, just like you are in the United States or any other Western country, you know? And I think some of these people don't know what a conventional family is, you know? And when you get over here, man, it's a truly, it's truly a, a conventional, real family because they'll stay with you if you treat them good. And, and they'll treat you good and love you and give you that love back. And that's one thing I, I really, truly appreciate over here is the, the amount of love that I get from my family. I really appreciate that. And I also appreciate the, the love that I get from my neighbors. I mean, us as a group here in this little community that we have here, I, I tell my neighbors all the time, you know, I love you. You know, like, you know, we have Pax, the, the guy that, that, that does this here, that he, he did all the varnishing here. And I tell, hey, Pax, I love you. You know, and he's, I love you too, you know, and I, and I tell his wife the same thing. You know, we do a lot of things together. We, we have a lot of vacations together. We do a lot of stuff together. We've had a, a little a couple of adventures out on the, in Manila Bay in a boat, you know, things like that. We, we, we do things together. And some of my best friends over here have been Filipinos more so than they've been expats. I've had probably two really good, maybe three really good expat friendships. And I have a couple of people that I see once in a while on occasion here. And I have one guy, and if he's watching, Mike, get, get in touch with me. I met him at an ATM. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, I can, I can have a friendship with him because he doesn't live too far away from here. And I'm not sure what, what you know, what his background is because I, I haven't got to know him yet. And he seems like a really nice guy. And I'm hoping we can, we can hook up soon. And, you know, he, he seemed like a really nice regular guy, you know, and I'm hoping he contacts me because I, I had him in my emails and I can't find him because I got so many emails in there right now. But community here is definitely big and, and, and the love and affection that you get back from the community is going to be astronomical for you, you know, you new expats. And some communities might not fit you. I'm not saying every community is the same, okay? So don't go into a community and think that you know, oh, this isn't working out. This isn't working out for me. If it doesn't work out for you, you can always go someplace else and start over in the Philippines. And that's the great part about the Philippines is you can just move to the next town, you know, or another barangay or something like that. If you don't like it there, just tell your girlfriend, you know, I want to get up and move. This, this neighborhood doesn't fit me. And it might not fit you, you know, because there are neighborhoods like that here. But look around and find a great place to live where you're going to be happy, you know, a place that makes, you know, your heart happy you know and when you find that place you'll know you'll know you know but anyway guys i just want to put that out there you know and and i thought it'd be like a nice vlog today to talk about because i think community and and the love and affection of the filipinos is is, is awesome here and i think you guys will see the same when you get over here for all you new expats and for you few you expats that are already over here or have, or have already lived here before you know, feel free to, to, to comment in the comment section, you know, because that helps, that helps a lot of the people on here. It helps a lot of the newbie expats understand what it's like over here, you know. And some of you guys have bad experiences. Put those down, too. I'm, I'm, I'm open to that, you know, as long as it's in a, in a decent manner that you put it in there. But if you start calling Filipinos names or something, I'm not going to let you on my channel. You know, that's just the way it is. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog.